Not to be broadcast is brought to you by vibe.ng. Before we dive into the matter at hand, here's congratulating Tubaba on his recent School of Music Fellowship Award at the Obafemi Awolowo University. Now, Tubaba has put in loads of work for nearly two decades and counting, and he sure deserves all the accolades he's receiving. Back to the matter. So, Blackface and Two-Face are at it again, and this time, the Palava comes with a theme song by Blackface called War. So, Blackface has been of the opinion that Two-Face stole the songs African Queen and let somebody love you from him saying as he claims to have written the songs with no credit given to him this issue has been brewing for quite a while now but things took another turn when tubaba and his team decided to file a lawsuit against blackface for falsely accusing him that's tubaba for song theft the first court hearing which happened on the 20th of march 2019 was adjourned but moments before that day blackface released a song titled war and on the song he leveled even some more allegations against Tubaba. He talked about the song theft, of course, and how Two Face has been sabotaging his efforts, you know, to make a headway in the industry. But one thing that he implied that cannot be ignored is that Tubaba's fame has been as a result of his involvement in homosexual activities. In fact, here's how the line of the song goes: Two Face, since when them start to nyash you for back, that's why you know if it stands straight. Is that what made you a star? Now, when Blackface was asked in an interview why he said this, he said he only called Two-Face gay because it is a normal thing in music. Like, really? Yes, it might be normal for people to say all kinds of stuff in music when it concerns a misunderstanding with another artist, but this case is very different. Is it that Blackface is just utterly desperate to tarnish Tubaba's image so much that he has resorted to incriminating lies? Or is this him vindictively telling us something he's sure about that we do not know? Tubaba and his team have recently released a statement saying that they will not be responding to Blackface's allegations outside the court. And Ifeo Morobwe also pulled up a 2016 post where he acknowledges that Blackface did contribute to Let Somebody Love You, but that he was given due credit, except for a spelling mishap on the jacket sleeve of the CD or something like that. He also mentioned that Blackface and Two-Face have jointly written songs that Blackface has put to commercial use without seeking the permission of Tubaba, causing Blackface to, you know, be just as guilty of the same crime that he's accusing Two-Face for. Now, does this mean that Blackface might be correct about his claims to African Queen? Maybe or maybe not. But if he is, he definitely doesn't seem to be seeking redress the right way. The general perception is that Blackface is just, you know, very bitter that Two-Face has reached a high level of relevance without him. But do you guys believe that this is the case or there's more stuff that, you know, went down that he's deeply hurt about and he is not saying for more sizzling gist and interesting trends, kindly follow us across all our social media platforms on vibe.ng.